Hey everybody, welcome back to Time Off Outdoors. I know it's been a while, folks, but summer's here. It's starting to heat up, and there's going to be a lot more things to do outside. So one of the pieces of gear that's very vital for summertime is the cooler. It can hold gear, it can hold drinks, which we need to stay hydrated. It can hold food if you're going on a car camping trip. So today we're going to talk a little bit about coolers and what you can do to make them a little bit better. Now a company called Aeve reached out to me and the next couple of videos are gonna be kind of a review and tutorial on how to install their products and whether they're worth it or not. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about hinges. Now some coolers hinges are garbage, uh, whether it just be a design flaw or it's just the fact that they use crappy material. So the first item we're going to do from Aeve is this little kit here. Let's see if we can get it to focus. It's a little hinge kit, and this one's actually specifically for Igloo. I'll leave a link to this below, uh, but today we're going to look at this. Here's a close-up look of the hinges. Just a simple hinge, well constructed, can move very well, no hang-ups or anything. Here's just a little quick picture of the box. Just comes in this little box. Here's some information. Here's some of their uh, social media support email, everything. I believe if you guys have a problem with this product, you email them. They'll try to help you figure out what they need to do to make it right. So it comes with three of these. And then it comes with a whole little deal of screws. It gives you more than enough. So today we're going to kind of look at putting this on. Now let me show you what you can do. You don't always have to use these kits specifically made for uh, coolers, but if you're like me and try to make your own hinges just from some you found laying around the garage, it doesn't always look pretty. I mean, this obviously functions, but it is just very ugly. It's the Franken cooler. This is the first cooler I've ever bought. Probably when I was like, oh gosh, like 15 probably. I've had this boy, bad boy for a long time. So, we're going to go get us an igloo cooler. I borrowed one from JD, and I'm going to pimp it out for him. And uh, the, the hinges on it are good now, but now we can put these stainless ones on, and it will have an extra pair of plastic ones. Let's go get to it. So here's the cooler we're going to be using today. It's just a standard igloo cooler. As you can see, it just has two hinges. If we get out the new stainless ones, actually see it's the exact same uh, size. So this is very easy to install. All you need is a screwdriver, which I'm gonna be using this cool little pocket one I have. Just put a bit in it. Now we're just gonna remove these eight little screws. So I'm gonna save you guys uh, from having to watch me take out all of these. So here's the screw right here. It's just a little guy. And I'm gonna go ahead and take all of these out. And we'll get back to you at the next step. So here we'll just take a quick look. I have the first one installed. Hi, the holes were lined up pretty well. So there's plastic. Here's our new one. We'll take a look at the plastic hinge. As you can see, the plastic hinge is just one solid piece of plastic. But if you look, it's kind of thinner right here, and that's what allows it to actually hinge like that. So over time, if you leave your ice chest out, oh, or you just have a very old one, these can become brittle and just crack on you. So now with the new stainless ones, we won't have to worry about it. Let's put the next one on. Just tightening the last few screws and we're good to go there we have it it's a very simple thing you can do to make your cooler that much uh, stronger that much more durable and it's gonna last a little bit longer just from this now this kit that includes three new uh, stainless steel hinges and a whole lot of screws is $13.99 I'll put a link below I would recommend, however, keeping all these, especially these. These are there's nothing wrong with them. And then this brand new one, in case one of these goes hangwire, which, judging by the quality, I don't think that's going to happen. 
So I would just stick those in your drawer somewhere. Now these are, for this whole kit, it's $13.99. I'll leave the link below, like I said. Yes, I'd like to thank Aeve. I hope I'm saying your name right. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for giving me a chance to review some of your products. And so far, so good. I like what I see, guys. Keep up the good work. Until next time, stay outdoors.